Senator Corker has done some very good work over the last several months on a variety of areas in the fiscal matters. But a proposal of his that's attracted my support <clears throat> and which he'll describe today is a proposal to help make the Medicare program solvent by reducing the growth of out of control spending by nearly a trillion dollars in exchange for the expected request from the president for a one trillion dollar increase in the debt limit. Taking these two provisions together over the next few weeks would provide certainty for the economy. It would be the linchpin pin for a budget agreement that would get the economy going again. Republicans have said and the two of us have said that we're ready to do a whole variety of things in order to get a budget agreement, but we have to have someone address the Medicare fiscal cliff or the seniors and soon thereafter, young Americans are going to be pushed over that cliff and they're going to look back at us and wonder why we didn't do anything. This bill basically over the next 10 years will produce about, 10, about $1 trillion in savings and reforms to cause these programs to be solvent over the long haul. So future seniors will have the opportunity uh, to, to enjoy these, these benefits that we think are very important. And with that, what we'd like to do is, 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 uh, is give the president a $1 trillion debt ceiling to accompany $1 trillion, uh, $1 trillion in reforms to save these programs.